Hello again, I am Fluff, and this is Elite Dangerous. You're joining me at the moment as I shift between systems, and I'm about to come out and see my first brown dwarf star. I found it quite an eerie sight indeed. The new Elite gives you several different options in terms of your playstyle, what you want to do to uh, make your money or s how you want to spend your time in game, and exploration is one of those options. I've dipped my toe into some of the other possibilities like trading or bounty hunting, but what really caught my imagination was the possibility of going far out into the galaxy and finding various weird and wonderful sights with the additional prospect of making quite a bit of money from flogging the data that I acquire while I'm out there. So with that decision made I went to the nearest outpost and outfitted my Cobra Mark III with a fuel scoop, which allows me to replenish my fuel stocks simply by cuddling up to the nearest star with said scoop deployed. With this device I can effectively travel on into the galaxy indefinitely, provided I make sure to stop every now and again and suck up some more hydrogen or whatever it is I use for fuel. Quick edit. Yep, hydrogen. Delicious. The next thing I needed to do was decide where I wanted to go, and as I was looking around I noticed the Witch Head Nebula and I thought, why not? So, off I went. Well, I'd estimate that journey at a few hundred light years at least, and with a large number of red dwarves between the nebula and my starting point. One of the most interesting systems was 69 Lambda Eridani. I saw it on the galaxy map long before I actually reached the system because the star is represented so brightly on there. And when I arrived, I wasn't disappointed. As far as I'm aware, when you jump from system to system, you land at the star with the greatest mass. And when jumping to this system, you come out of warp to see a gigantic Class B blue-white star. It is really quite impressive. It was in the same system that I found a star with rings. And in this game the rings aren't just there for show, you can actually fly into them. So naturally I took that opportunity, and I was very glad that I did. Ultimately, I wasn't able to fly through the Witch Head Nebula in the way that I'd planned. This is the closest I got, and while it's not flying through those awesome multicoloured clouds, it's pretty cool nonetheless. What now, you might be wondering? Well, this trip to the Witch Head Nebula has brought me more than half of the distance, I think at this point, to the Orion Nebula, a little bit further on. And that little spot of space is filled to the brim with stars, including one very bright little beauty right here that I am very curious to see. That'll be for next time though. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and until next time, take care. <laughs>